Okay, so we're going to get started on our pumpkin. All right, the first thing is we're going to go up. And we're going to go over. And we're going to come down. And then we're going to go across. Now on this one, we're going to go ahead and make our outline. And we're going to go up. And you can make your pumpkin any shape you want. I'm going to make my pumpkin this shape. a fun shape just like that so I'm going to go all the way around and I'm going to stop at the edge of the stem now I'm going to go down and I'm going to make a curved line what we're going to do is we're going to go this way and bring it down and you want to bring it down toward the center. It will look a little bit better. It does not need to be at the center for this first curve. But you notice how the curve goes out this way because I'm on this side of the pumpkin. Now I'm going to travel a little bit. And this is really up to you how you want it. Now I'm going to go backwards. Now. If I was worried about it, I would flip it around and I can see where I'm going. But if you can't flip it around and you're doing a large quilt, you can just go backwards and kind of just a nice slight curve. And coming in on this side of the stem. So if you looked at the stem, it's going to, and you cut it in the middle, you want to be on this side, the same side as your slight curved line. You want to be on that side of the middle. Now we're going to travel to almost the middle. And we're going to do one more. We can do one more curve. Come down. And this we're going to stick right in the middle at the bottom. Now we're going to go back up and we're going to use the same point right here and we're going to come back up and we're going to curve the other way. So let's curve this way. I'm going to do it so you can see. Just like that. And now we're going to go ahead and we're going to go over and we're going to curve this way. And then we'll go over and we're going to curve again following the lines of the curves. Now, and we're going to end right at that stem. These do not need to be equal, but they certainly can. Like we have one, two, three, four. So ours are equal, but they don't have to be. The, the reason that I like to have them equal is that I will end up back at the stem. And what that allows me to do is to go up the stem. And from this point, I can go out and it will look like the vine of a pumpkin. So you know how vines of a pumpkin have those little spirals? Well, we can do that too. And so we can do things like put a leaf on there, or we can just do our loops, and that would make it very fun. And over on the plateau. <laughs> If you want to have an indentation there, that would look nice too. Let's go over on our stem, just like we did before. Now we're going to do a big, uh, kind of a flat princess. I think they're called princess uh, pumpkins, but we're going to make a big, flat pumpkin. And those I notice have a little bit of an indentation at the bottom. And then going out here. Now on this, we're going to take our curves a little bit deeper. So that's one reason I wanted to show it. 
is that we're going to come around and it's not as slight of a curve so just like that and we'll work our way around our pumpkin now one thing that's important is on this as if you're looking at it straight on you're going to come on one side of that indentation at the bottom now we're going to travel across that and then we will come back on up to the top. See how I brought that down on this side almost as if we the indentation is kind of splitting the middle and we're going to keep our curves on one side of the pumpkin and we'll curve on this side of the pumpkin. The curves are deeper because we have to go wider rather than taller. If you were going taller, your curves would not be as deep. So they would be slight curves. So now we're going to go ahead. Okay. And we're going to go back. And on this one, we're actually going to end on the bottom. You can do two things on this. You could travel up to the top, and certainly you could pick one, uh, one of these curves to travel back up. I'll go ahead and pick this middle one. Just like that. And then come up and then work up to the top of the, the pumpkin if you would like. The other thing is you could take off from the bottom of the pumpkin. Uh, and depending on your design for your quilt, it, it, it might work out really well to do that. So kind of decide which way you want to go and then just stay consistent. So we're going to go ahead. some loops. So I hope that this is helpful to you. I hope that you enjoy making the pumpkins. Have fun with them. They're a lot of fun to do. I will see you next time at the sewing machine. I hope you have fun today. Bye bye.